What's up? My name's Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I've got a super simple solution for you if you're having a couple of issues with OBS. In this video, I'll show you how you can fix the inability to move around sources, like such, readjust them by dragging and dropping these, and even holding Alt to drag one of these corners to crop it in and out. As well, I'll show you how to do this inside of Streamlabs OBS and also fix the missing sources list if that's something you're struggling with. Basically, if you're inside of OBS Studio, you have a little lock over here that you can enable or disable for each source on the sources page. By doing this, you're disabling the ability to move it around and you'll see a box like this instead of a red box with borders that you can drag around. By simply unchecking this lock, selecting the right source, you should be able to reposition it and move it as you'd expect. But what about not being able to grab anything on the sources window up here? Well, we can simply right click anywhere within it and then make sure that we have lock preview unchecked. If we have this enabled, we won't be able to grab anything to move it around or adjust it at all. So simply make sure that lock preview is disabled here for the actual preview itself and your sources don't have locks next to them. Other than that, there's not too much that can go wrong. If you'd like, you can select a source, right click it, and then hover over transform where you can click edit transform where you can move it around, set the top left's X and Y positions, set a position for the bottom right point, both X and Y, set alignment, and change a couple of other options here. That is, of course, if you're unable to drag something around in the preview up here, or you just like more accurate results. But what about Streamlabs OBS? Well, Streamlabs OBS isn't all that different. If you don't see this sources window over here, and instead you see something like this, simply clicking this button over here, the layout editor, the collection of four squares, will allow you to drag and drop the source selector back to where you want it to be. After clicking save changes in the top right, we see that the sources selection is now back. But what about not being able to grab and move items here as you'd expect? Well, much like OBS, we do have a lock option down here where we can stop ourselves from grabbing the image and pulling it around as we please. Simply making sure that all of your sources are unlocked allows you to drag them around and do with them as you please. You can also try right clicking next to this preview over here in a blank spot and then clicking unlock sources. If you click lock sources, all of your sources will be locked. But if you click unlock sources, they'll all be unlocked, allowing you to grab them and move them around. If you're still having issues, make sure that when you right click, performance mode isn't on. If it's on, you won't see the preview at all, meaning you're not able to edit it. Assuming that you have all of these set up properly, you should be able to move things around and get them working as expected. You can, of course, try removing the source and re-adding it once again. If you'd like to move it more accurately around, you can right click the actual source itself, transform and edit transform once again. Then we see a very similar window to the one that we saw inside of OBS Studio. We can set the top left points position with the X and Y and set the bottom right points position with X and Y. We can rotate and do a couple of cropping effects over here, which we can also do by holding Alt and dragging the side of one of these bars over here. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful enough. My name's been Techno, be here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.